Looking to improve your game? You can now sign up for CFB Pro using the promo code LVD, get access to articles and deck guides by the world's best. Alright, let's give this a shot. So for those that haven't played Omniscience Draft yet, you basically get to cast all your spells for free, you start with a 3 card opening hand, and uh, every turn you have 5 mana, one of each color for activated abilities, and you can also use that in the opponent's turn. So activated abilities like Spectral Sailor are very good since you can draw one card in your turn and one in the opponent's turn. But basically you want to draft all the card draw spells since those allow you to potentially draw your entire deck on turn 1. So Night Pack Ambusher isn't actually amazing. But is there anything else good here? I guess Anticipate, but we might wheel that. So do we take Anticipate anyway, or do we take something else like Kelden Raider, hoping to wheel Anticipate? Silverbacks, like okay, but not amazing. I guess there's also a chance we wheel the Kelden Raider anyway, so I could just take Anticipate now. No, I don't think Ambusher's the pick. Like, it's definitely better than the random 6 mana vanilla big creatures, but it's still not as good as, I think, the card draw. I guess we'll just take Anticipate and hope to wheel Kelden Raider. Ooh, Risen Reef is definitely one of the better cards. Yeah, it's gotta be better than Anticipate. Alright, let's take Risen Reef. And Dragon Mage is a pretty funny card. It can be a very dangerous card, letting the opponent draw 7, but in some situations it can also be pretty good. Kinda depends how your deck is built. I guess we could take a Vorse Claw, it's just a big creature that's an elemental for Risen Reef. Hardcover's pretty slow. So I think I'm leaning a Vorse Claw here over Dragon Mage. Just to get more elementals for Risen Reef. Mind Rot is also like playable if you're on the play, if you're on the draw, the opponent's often empty-handed already, so it's not that great. Alright, couple options here. Can hope to get multiple fairy miscreants, but even if we do with the three card opening hand, it's a pretty risky strategy. Because we're not that likely to draw multiples at the same time. Uh, Rule of Law is actually a weirdly effective card in this set, or in Omniscience Draft. Pulse of Marasa is pretty reasonable as a way to get back, like a Risen Reef. We could take another Vorse Claw. I think I would take Vorse Claw over Reduce. Could take a Negate to counter the opponent's card draw. Rule of Law is pretty high variance, like... It can definitely win you the game, but sometimes it's just a dead card if you're behind. So it's pretty similar to Dragon Mage and how high variance it can be. Maybe I take the Negate and hope to wheel Force Claw or Pulse as one of the green cards. Healer of the Glade probably wheels too. Could go with the Risen Reef. Probably go for Negate. I mean, Negate's always effective pretty much. The other cards are pretty speculative. Probably has to be Soul Salvage here. It's not a great card, but it beats everything else in the pack. Sometimes you can cheese people out with Denison, I suppose. If you've got the uh, Unsummon plus the 7 mana Scholar of the Ages, you can combo people out. Portal has some combo potential. Probably better than another Soul Salvage. Don't mind Lich. Or Befuddle, I guess. So Lich lets us loot. And it's a creature to combo with Portal, Soul Salvage, etc. Befuddle is basically card draw right away. Lich is probably still the pick, given that we have a bit of synergy with Portal and Soul Salvage here. I guess we could take a Disenchant. Pretty important to kill those Season of Growth 
otherwise you could take an aerial assault or like a crasher to give four squad trample elemental for risen reef but it's pretty unexciting yeah maybe it's still the pick does make force claw significantly better if they have trample all right take Keldon raider combos with portal Ooh, nice anticipate wields probably take mind rots and then i've got some options actually Healer is only good if we draw Risen Reef. Natural Land is better than a Disenchant. Rule of Law, as we mentioned, can be pretty high variance. Chad likes Rule of Law. All right, we'll try it. Maybe I should have taken the enchantment in case we end up with uh, Season of Growth. One Zephyr Charge could be kind of okay, but it's not a card we actively want. Ferocious Pup has a bit of synergy with Portal, but not that much. I'll take the Charge. How good is Vivian in this mode? I mean, it's gotta be okay still. Otherwise, there's Howling Giant, Force Claw. Yeah, it's probably still Vivian. I love everything from deer to diamonds. Also, Howling Giant's pretty nice with Portal of Sanctuary. Winged Words, one of the better cards. Yeah, it's an easy Winged Words. Veil of Summer's actually quite good too, yeah. Because people do play Mind Rolls and Counter Spells in this mode. So Veil of Summer's actually a consideration over Vivian. But Vivian's pretty fun. Blade Brand's always a safe bet. Only have the one Risen Reef to really combo with other elementals. I guess Lynx is also an elemental at that point. So it's better than Healer, most likely. So I guess it's Lynx versus Natural Lens. I'll probably wield the Natural Lens anyway. Ooh, nice. Scholar of the Ages. Probably one of the best cards you can hope for. I mean, Cloud Seer would be great too. It's also an elemental for Risen Reef. But uh, yeah, if we can pick up an unsummon, we can potentially just win the game on turn one. I mean, what do we prefer here? I guess Lynx is a little bit better with Portal, since we can kind of keep looping it. Sure. Right, and there's unsummon. So... Blunt for Bones would also be okay, but... Unsummon plus um, Scholar of the Ages plus any card draw like Winged Words means we can draw our entire deck. I guess it's another Unsummon over Miscreants. Alright, we wield the Veil of Summer. That's actually pretty good. Sage's Road Denizen can also be a combo win condition with Scholar of the Ages and Unsummon. But I think Veil is still better. I guess we take the big elemental. So far our deck isn't amazing outside of the Scholar of the Ages. Pretty light on card draw. Nothing great. Can probably wield the Sage's Road Denizen and take Portal. How many creatures do I have to combo with Portal? The two Frost Links, Tomebound Lich, Risen Reef, Prophet lets me scry, this lets me loot. And of course, Scholar of the Ages. So I have a couple of combos. 
All right. Bone to Ash, always a decent one. Does this do anything? It's pretty slow. Probably Bone to Ash. Probably another one. Could also take Angelic Gift. Which could be better if we end up with a Season of Growth, but we don't have one yet. Bone to Ash can be a bit conditional if the opponent doesn't play a creature, but most decks will end up playing a creature eventually. Gift works with Portal, does it? I guess it does. More Portals. Although I think now I'll take the Befuddle just to cycle it. Blade Brands. Another Blade Brand over in the gate. And Anticipate's a nice one. Alright, so this is 8th pick. So the next pack might have another Sages Road Denizen, in which case I probably don't need to pick this one up, and I can just take Negate. Yep, there it is. Probably take it over Kelden Raider. That way if we assemble Denizen plus uh, Scholar plus Unsummon, we can mill someone out. And it's also decent with Portal of Sanctuary. Take my Disenchant. I guess never mind, Natural is just better. Ooh, nice. Bone to Ash on the wheel. That's a gift. How many portals is too many portals? We're about to find out. Alright. So this is 40. Um... Yeah, Aegis isn't doing anything for me. I guess Inquisitor is my next worst card. Yeah, three natural and is more than I would like, but... Didn't have much of a choice. Yeah, Rule of Law probably makes the cuts. All right, I guess uh, this is it. All right, we're on the play. I can draw two. Hope to draw... I mean, if we draw Scholar of the Ages, this is a turn one kill. All right, let's keep... Hope they don't have any counter spells, I guess. Do we want to unsummon Vorse Claw? I guess so. Now I don't have a target for Blade Brands. Oh well. I guess Anticipate's alright. Now I can natural end my own rule of law if it becomes too annoying. So 
So I could pick up my own profits, replay it, and then anticipate in the opponent's turn. All right, I see a window of opportunity here. So now I just need to destroy my own rule of law end of turn, and then we can combo off. Guess I'll jump. Even a Veil of Summer for a counterspell. So get unsummon winged words. Even have the portal plus colors, so it's not like we even need it that much additional stuff. So I need to find my uh, Sage's Road Denizen pretty much. Uh, I guess I'll take a Mind Rot for now. So I'll pick up Mind Rot and Winged Words, and then we can use Portal to loop back Scholar once. Alright, and our opponent packs it in. Yeah, Skull of the Ages is pretty messed up. I guess having three naturalized effects when we have Rule of Law is not that bad. Alright, this could go very well for us, or very poorly. I'm an optimist. Now I could anticipate for like my negates, I guess, but don't have to do it now. Oh, yes. Uh, portal, yeah. Oh, Veil of Summer too, nice. Did we just lock our opponent out of the game? I think we might have. Unsummon, yep, yeah, that should do it. Now we're thinking with portals. I guess Lynx counts with Risen Reef.
sure, I guess I can afford to mine rots. Angelic gifts. Oh yes, now we're really going off. So now we're drawing additional cards with each iteration. Now I do still need to find my denizen. Eventually. Denison, where are you? Could have also taken rule of law. All right, there's Denison. Uh, sure. So don't want to unsummon, but want a portal. Think we've got it. Get this back, mill the opponents. GG's. All right, sweet. Was that a turn one win? I forgot, I lost track. The only thing to fear is well, everything. All right, well, we've got scholar. We don't have any cards to go with it right now is a problem. So it's somewhat sketchy. But if we draw like an anticipate, we're off to the races. All right, we'll try it. Oh, I am gonna love tearing this place to the ground. This will be fun to watch. Definitely an argument for keeping cards in hand to discard to various looting effects. Uh oh, a dragon mage? <laughs> could actually be good for me. But I could also just kill it. Probably just kill it. Watch out. They bite. Yeah, they would probably kill my planeswalker before they Attacked my life total anyway. I'm a survivor. Ooh, scholar. Get back. Bone to ash. All right. So, could be a tricky game. So if I play Lynx, they probably counter it. And I maybe don't want them drawing an extra card. Yeah, I guess we still get this countered. They're pretty much using Bone Tash on the first target we play. My, my, how you 
you've grown. So we would really like to draw any instant or sorcery to combo with our Scholar of the Ages. I did consider just not playing the Frost Links and holding it until we actually want to combo off with the Scholar of the Ages. Uh oh, Act of Treason. Yeah, anticipate into unsummon would be pretty good. I'll take a winged words into unsummon as well. Uh oh, blood for bones. Yeah, that probably locks us out of the game. Get back bone to ash. All right, we're dead. Yeah, Scholar of the Ages can also be good for the opponents. Huh. Well, Negate actually gave us a shot here, but we needed to like, anticipate into Negate. Now we're still pretty dead. Can play Scholar, they bone to ash it, I negate it. But then they just pick it back up with the Blood for Bones. Yeah, we're just super dead here. But I guess I can pick up the negate with a Scholar of the Ages. I don't know. We'll play it out, I guess. Yeah, they can just Blood for Bones back the Act of Treason. Although then the Scholar doesn't get to attack, but uh, Stone Golem does. So I jump Stone Golem and I'm still dead. Alright, we'll let them play it out here. So yeah, Blood for Bones plus Scholar is also a pretty powerful loop since you just get to get back whatever you want from the graveyard. Yes. So Scholar of the Ages still undefeated. Well, this is a pretty bad hand. I guess this is better. Bottom the links. I wish we got a free mulligan like we did in the other Omniscience event. Forget which one it was. Alright, Risen Reef plus Portal. It's a pretty powerful combo. And even have Angelic Gift. Oh yes. Maybe I should have played Scholar first and then put the Angelic Gift on the Scholar. This also draws a card. 
All right, <laughs> we did it. I even have the Veil of Summer, because why not? And this is going to make it pretty quick. Well, nice mulligan to two. I guess I technically should be picking up my Anticipate again, because my opponent could have something. Maybe I should be looking for Mind Rots. I guess negates good insurance. Just have to be a little careful that we don't deck ourselves. I guess I'll start getting back Anticipate instead of uh, Winged Words. Alright, there we go. Alright, so they have nothing. And now we can combo in peace. Oh no, the, the skeleton's folding priority now. Now I could be mean and get Mind Rot back and make him discard the skeleton again. But I'm not going to do that. I'm having trouble holding all these cards in hand. Opponents down to 14 cards.
eight cards remaining. All right, and that does it. Well, that's the second. Is it the second or the? Yeah, I think it's the second turn one win. And was also on a mulligan to two, so we got very lucky with that initial sequence. And so far, Skull Over the Ages is undefeated. Uh, sure. Maybe, hmm, I think I made a mistake. I should have gone full control and cast Blade Brand in response to the trigger. Probably ditch the unsummon now. Come on, Scholar of the Ages. Alright, not quite. So I can take a Bone to Ash or a Befuddle. Befuddle lets me potentially keep going. Bone to Ash is probably better, all things considered. And we even have Veil of Summer in case of Mind Rots. Ooh, Spectral Sailor, that's a nice one. Good bait. Could definitely lose to a Spectral Sailor. Yeah, I could just cycle this Veil of Summer, but I'm guessing I'm probably going to be able to make use of it countering a Counterspell. But we'll see. Blade Brand's Lich. Let's see. Alright, so that would counter the draw from Blade Brand essentially. It's probably worth it. So if these all resolve, I would draw two. My opponent gets nothing. And they have two cards left in hand, but still an active Spectral Sailor. So not the best set of draws. Although I can loot with a Lich, which is pretty nice. Portal could be useful too. No creatures to get back at the moment. Yeah, Portal returning the Angelic Gifts means we get to draw an additional card on top. I'm guessing I discard Crasher since I can potentially pick it back up with uh, Soul Salvage. Now Crasher could be better than, let's say, Natural Land if we pick up Risen Reef. But I think for now we'll discard it. Alright, so we don't get to do anything else this turn, but I do have a Bone to Ash. So I think I'm still behind to the Spectral Sailor here, but we do have a chance if we find Scholar soon and they can't interact with it. Soul Savage can also get it back if it gets countered. Uh, I think I'm gonna let that resolve. I do want to draw my card with Bone to Ash, but Inspiring Captain's just a little bit too low impact. And 
and then I'll take four since I want to keep the Lich and the Gift to combo with Portal. What does this do again? I guess we'll natural end it. Don't even know if it's worth it, but... Negates, finds Denizen. It's good information. So this game is shaping up to be a lot more interactive than the previous ones. So we'll get... Veil of Summer and Unsummon, I think. Let's get Veil. I guess I start with and summon on Scholar. And then we'll get and summon Anticipate. And that should pretty much be the game. All right, sweet. Well, it took a bit longer to find Scholar of the Ages this time, but uh, yeah, Portal plus Lich and then the enchantments getting picked back up with the Portal is actually pretty nice. Cool. This is the Sleeve from the Mastery Pass, I'm guessing. On the play. Mediocre, but maybe keepable hands. I might even discard a Vivian here with the Kelden Raider. I've got a negate backup. Sure. I'll let the Anticipate resolve, keep negate for two for ones like Bone to Ash. When you're more excited about Angelic Gift than Vivian. Oh yes. Oh yes. Get back here. And now we're thinking with portals. Eh, I guess that's good enough for now. Got two counter spells and summon. I'll try to be a bit more conservative with my bone to ash. Hmm. Sure. You can have it. There's not many creatures that are like must counter. Hmm, that's kind of annoying. Probably want to negate that so I can portal back the angelic gift instead of unsummon. Haha, <laughs> rule of law. Don't think I want a rule of law quite yet here. Uh, so let's just pick it back up. Alright, we're back where we started. 
except we have uh, a natural end in hand. Duress. Guess I want to negate that. Take six. I'm guessing I'm not going to need both on summons. I guess I'll just play Link stepping down Predator and then keep this in hand to discard to the Raider. Could also unsummon the Raider, but then we lose Angelic Gift. Uh, we'll pass. We've got the card draw engine, our opponent doesn't, so for now I'm happy being pretty conservative. I could unsummon the Predator. I don't know, I think we let that happen. Alright, I guess it's time to save uh, Raider here. So we did lose the Angelic Gift, so we're no longer drawing as many cards, but still happy to have Raider plus Portal. I think Crasher is better than Serpent, considering we have Risen Reef in the deck. Another portal. Is that better than Lich here? And I don't mind discarding Crasher or Natural Lens. Alright, so we're just gonna have to pass. Hopefully convert these Bone to Ashes. Can also use portal with frost links to keep predator tapped down. I'll pretty much counter any creature now with bone tash since we have a second one. <laughs> They're really putting this to the test. Yoked ox, that's about as low impact as it can get. All right, Veil gives us a bit of insurance. So where do we start? Probably Blade Brands. Not a portal. Zephyr charge. All right, I guess I'm into getting back links now. I could pick up Raider again. Discard charge, but I'm at 8, so I could easily die to a burn spell. Very miscreant, sure. I'll counter the second copy if they have one. 
flood of tears. Nice. Well, I guess that happens. Also, they did get to put a permanent in place since they had four, so I didn't get to counter the miscreants. Now I'm not actually sure if I bone to ash the predator. Maybe I need to keep it for like a scholar of the ages. I think I'll let them have it. They still got to draw the card from Bone to Ash since it's a separate part of the spell. Yeah, if I played Raider first, then I would have drawn a card from Reef from the Frost Lynx, but I was trying to use the Lynx as baits. Alright, that should do it here. Get back, negate unsummon. I guess negate unsummon again. Opponent has 18 cards left and explodes, all right. So it took a while, but eventually, once again, Skull of the Ages locks it up. And Portal also did quite a bit of work. Alright, five wins. Not bad. Let's see if we can make it six. This hand's very underwhelming. I can negate, so I can hopefully stop any broken start from our, our opponents. And then we have a portal in case we pick up a better ETB creature. Stone Golem, definitely one of our worst cards. And being on the draw means we'll get an extra attempt at comboing off. So pretty uneventful turn for our opponents. No real point in playing Stone Golem. Probably, hmm, I guess I could have kept Portal in hand to play around a disenchant effect a little bit better. Um, still probably gonna pass. Like, I could have been attacking my opponent for four, but it's just not impactful enough, and we might want to discard it to Kellen Raider. So I'll just pass and hope to convert Bone to Ash. Can always natural hunt for three life, which does buy me an extra turn. Alright, that's good. I mean, I could unsummon the uh, Vorsklon and Bone to Ash it on the way back. Maybe that's safer here. Okay. 
Don't really want to play Denizen yet. Because if I expose it to exile based removal, then it might be tricky to win the game. Alright. Might be playing my creatures out anyway here. Although I can natural on the stone golem. Alright, Lich is nice. Could have played Denizen first to start milling already. Also I might end up discarding Denizen and then picking it back up with the soul salvage. Could've also used Blade Brand as an actual combo trick, but there's a good chance we can combo off this turn. Sure. Can natural on the Golem. Take seven. Sure. Do this now. And then I guess I'm fine with the trade if they offer. Just trying to find Scholar of the Ages, pretty much. Nice. Get some Portal of Sanctuary value with the gifts. Summon doesn't seem needed. And then I guess I'll keep going. Rule of law. Don't think that benefits me. Soul salvage could get back. Not a whole lot. Alright, let's pass. I could still trade with a Lich, although now that I have Angelic Gift on it, maybe I don't want to. Veil vale of Summer does protect me from the 3 damage black uh, sorcery. Are there any red burn spells that can kill me here? Shock doesn't do it. Chandra's Outrage doesn't do it. I could jump with Octoprophet, that's fine too. In case I have a pump spell maybe. Yeah, there's a couple of green pump spells that could have killed me. Alright. Start here. Alright, that should be game. I've got on summon. Yeah. Can soul salvage back. Denizen and whatever. And summon and some card draw.
All right, so it took a while, but once again, we managed to assemble our combo. Just gotta make sure to keep getting back on summon. All right, GG's. So six and one. The one game we lost was to Scholar of the Ages plus Blood for Bones. I think every game decided by Scholar of the Ages so far. So let's see if we can defeat the final boss. On the play, this is a pretty bad hand. This is better. Uh, between Befuddle and Blade Brands, probably doesn't matter too much. Well, let's hope they don't have a counter spell here. Our odds of winning definitely skyrocketed just now. Take profit, I think. And there we go, unsummon. So do I keep Veil of Summer? Sure. Get a negate, just in case. With negate and veil in hand now, it should be a lock. So now we just need to eventually find that uh, denizen that we put on the bottom. <laughs> Rule of law. Probably don't want that right now. And our opponent packs it in. Sweet. Well, we got way more turn one wins than I was expecting. Anticipate definitely being a key role player in helping us assemble all these various combos. And we got to seven wins. I was told there would be some cake if we got seven wins. All right, let's crack some packs. Nice mythic wild card. All right, sweet. Well, we're probably not gonna do better than that draft anytime soon. Scholar of the Ages, easily the best card for omniscience draft purposes. So yeah, that was fun. Wanna thank everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.